When is the gender reveal and the baby shower? When is the due date? Do we have any name ideas? What do we want? What was your first thought? Why did she wait to tell you? Why are we not married yet? How many kids do you want after this one? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Let's go. I know you guys been waiting for this video guys. Um, so <clears throat> we're gonna start off right away. Uh, but before we start guys, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so when you Man, it's been so long. <laughs> We're gonna redo it again. All right, guys, make sure to turn on that notification bell so you guys can get alerted every time we post up a new video. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. But yeah, guys, so as questions that you guys been wanting to know, we have answers for you guys. <laughs> I have answers. Well, the main thing is here. First thing is first, guys, uh, we want to thank you guys for the love and support that you guys have been showing us. Um, if you have not followed us on TikTok, guys, or Instagram, make sure you guys go follow us. I'm going to leave our Instagram here and uh, all our information on social media in the description down below. We are going live often on TikTok. We're more active on there. Okay, guys. So the first question is, why did she wait to tell you? Well, I mean, I think alone, our anniversary, I think that was the best thing. What haven't I gifted him at this point? So I feel like it just felt right, like that was the perfect. And then apart from that, <clears throat> obviously this baby was a surprise. So I feel like, I don't know, literally right before I found out I was pregnant, we had, I don't know if we had a conversation, but he was just like, yeah, I just, I don't want any more kids, like that's it. So then I think when I found out, I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know. How, yeah. I didn't know how to say it. So then that's why like, I obviously I let it, I knew for like about a month before I told him or a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. But I just feel like I was just kind of okay, like how am I gonna go about this? Like, you know? And so yeah, I think and then, you know, our anniversary came up. So it was just like perfect. Like, I just, and it was amazing because if you guys haven't already watched the video, we're gonna link it right now. Yeah, his reaction was priceless, so yeah, I'm so glad I waited. Um, yeah, you guys just need to go watch it. <laughs> uh, question number two, how many kids do you want after this one? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Yeah. Uh, four kids. Um, four kids. They're expensive. It's already a full house. <laughs> it's apart, already a full apart from that, it's just a full house. I think it's all in good ages. I feel like, you know, Abel's already literally a teenager, so. So for those of you guys that don't know or if you guys are new to our channel, uh, Abel is our oldest son. Um, He's 14. He just turned 14. We had, we actually had him at 15 years old. When we were uh, in high school, we had, we were parents in high school, guys. So for those of you guys, like I said, that are new, yeah, and obviously we were teen parents, so I, I get a lot of questions like, oh, why is it that your two kids, because our second son, he's seven, or just gonna, he's gonna turn seven this Saturday. And um, a lot of people was like, oh, why they eat your difference? But I feel like we were 15, so I feel like I don't think people really understand what they're asking because it's not like I'm gonna, I would have jumped to have another kid, you know, still being in high school, so. We just kind of learned from it, and then we waited for the perfect time. Yeah. Or second kid. Yeah, but even then, it's like we both graduated, and then I think Pablo had already had his barber shop, and I did some schooling. I went to community college, so I feel like I don't know. It, we just kind of like okay, you know, obviously with Abel, it happened, but like let's not repeat it. We want to be, you know, really. Um, we just thought about life more. We, yeah, we wanted to be responsible parents, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's. But yeah, it was eight year difference, um, and then we have our seven year old going to be the Saturday, and then we waited. I think it was two years. Demi was it was a big surprise. Um, yeah, she. I didn't even know I was pregnant until way far in, and it was just crazy. This baby is a surprise, so I feel like these last two kids have been well. Even our first kid, I think Roy was the only one that we ever heard. Yeah. What was your first thought? I just, I don't, honestly, I don't even know. I was kind of like, how, like, it was, it took me by surprise. I don't know, my first reaction was just like, I mean, my sister was there, so I was just kind of like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. 
this. I don't know how I'm gonna tell him. I think it just took me by surprise because I'm telling you, he had just finished saying that he didn't want any more kids. So I was kind of <laughs> like, uh. Oh. But then I also got like a sense of like peace. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, like it was like perfect timing. I don't know. I just right feel before like, 30, guys. Eh, <laughs> he thinks it's because it's before 30. No, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. I think. I love the person that I am today, so I feel like I never got to really be that with Abel and with Roy and Demi. I feel like we were very busy, so I feel like right now that we kind of have like calmed we're down. Yeah, we're more at home. I don't know. I just felt like it was like the one time that I'm like, okay, like I get to fully dedicate my life to the baby. Yeah. So I'm really happy. How do you manage to look good while pregnant? Um. I would say honestly, I take naps whenever I can. Um, oh, dang. <laughs> I try to listen to my body, especially right now. By the way, all these questions, guys, uh, we went live on TikTok and people asked us. So, a lot of people that follow us on TikTok and that were on our lives, they already know these answers because we answered them on live. So, just saying, follow us on TikTok and you guys will be the first ones to know. <laughs> um, but yes, why aren't we married yet, Steph? Mm, so, we have actually been trying to get married forever. For years. For years. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... Just things happen, guys, you know? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, we were going to get married, then I got pregnant with Demi. We were going to get married after Demi, but then COVID hit. And then after, we were going to get married, but we've honestly... Then we just got busy in life. Yeah, we're just so busy, yeah. so... But stay tuned guys, we are planning on getting married. Um, I truly wanted to get married in November, but obviously like it's just crazy, so we didn't, but I think we're gonna have to wait till another year from now. We'll be married in the next year. We don't know when, but in the next year we should be getting married. When is the due date? That is a good question. So as of right now, Steph is 20, how many weeks? 20? 23. Three? Wait. Tomorrow You're going into 24. 24. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow I turn 24. So tomorrow I turn six months officially. So she's six months today, guys. So yeah. that's 24 weeks. Um, the due date is June 6. 6th. Didn't they switch it to June 7th? Uh, it usually Oh, was it June 7th? Varies. And they switched it to June 6th. One of those two. June, so, those. Yeah. We'll find out Friday. The last time we went, they switched it. I don't know if it was front or back. Yeah. One of those. But it's either June 6th or June 7th. But stay tuned with that, guys. Uh, I personally feel that she's gonna have this baby sooner than that. All of the other babies that we've had, or Steph's had, uh, <laughs> three of them, they've came uh, almost two weeks sooner. Yeah, I've never had my baby on their due dates. Yeah. I feel like my sister has had her, her baby on her, the due dates, and I think that's so beautiful. Because I'm like, imagine you just wake up and be like, oh, today's my due date. And then they have their baby, I'm like, dang, that's kind of cool. Yeah. For me, it's not like that. And it's always at the middle of the night, which is so crazy. I, know, I have crazy. never had a daytime baby where it's like, okay, bye kids, I'm gonna go <laughs> have a kid. No, it's like literally three in the morning, I'm like, I'm about to have this baby. And yeah, we literally I, go. I remember I was in LA and she's like, my water broke and this and that. I'm like, holy shit, I'm like, an hour and a half away. Yeah, it was so, I was like, I literally I, down, I was trying to like, hold it together. Yeah, I was with my friend that day. Um, and luckily he had a Camaro and I told him, pull over to the side, let me drive. Um, I have an emergency. So he just pulled over, I grabbed his car and I was like going over a hundred miles per hour throughout the whole freeway, the whole 60. And I uh, like, thank God I made it on time for everything, you know? But uh, but yeah, guys, that's that's a different story. Um, when is the gender reveal and the baby shower? That's gonna be next Saturday, so eight days from now. Um, yeah, it had, it, honestly, I didn't, we didn't, I didn't even realize that it was this soon because we've been so busy I, with birthdays and everything. I know. Yeah, so now I'm just kind of like, oh my goodness, it's in a week from now. So I'm really nervous. I don't think we've, like, actually, like, we're about to know what we're going to have. So, I don't know. Oh. Sorry, guys, I keep yawning. It's, like, super late. Um, and I'm so tired and we're doing this video for you guys. Um, but yeah, as you guys heard, Steph, February 17th is our gender reveal party. Um, you guys will find out two to three days after uh, our gender reveal. So stay tuned with that. Make sure you guys turn on your notification bell um, so you guys get alerted. When we do our gender reveal, guys, we will probably post maybe two more videos before our gender reveal, but make sure you guys are updated with our videos. And then right now we're working on 
the baby shower date. Uh, we're thinking of doing the end of March or beginning of, or the first week of April. But yeah, so right now we're in the works of uh, where we're gonna have it, we're looking for it and the date. Stay tuned with the baby shower also. You guys ready for this uh, news, excitement that we're about to announce? Like I said, the people I don't, are, I don't even know. Who okay, well, the people, you know, you know. But oh, okay. The, the, <laughs> I yeah, like, I wouldn't do or say anything okay. without telling you. So, um, the people on TikTok already know, and they're waiting for this video. So they're gonna go crazy. I'm sure you guys are gonna go crazy. Um, so we decided to pick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Relax, man. I know, like. <laughs> so we decided to pick. Three of our supporters to join us in our gender reveal, guys. Here are the simple steps. All you gotta do is follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Follow Steph on Instagram and TikTok. And obviously subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new. And turn on the notification bell, that's it. We're gonna pick three people from the comments here, one from Instagram, one from TikTok, and one from YouTube. So, the more you guys share this video, the more you guys comment on this video, we are going to pick one of you guys, and you guys are gonna get the chance to experience this important day with us, with all our close friends and family, guys. And you could bring a plus one with you, just because if I, I put myself in you guys' shoes and it's like, <laughs> if they invite me to a party and I'm by myself, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be like right there by myself and yeah. looking at everybody. And just because we don't say it because we, we're not going to talk to you, it's just that we're going to be so busy yeah. trying to make sure that everything is okay and everything is set for the big reveal. So yes. that's why, you know, I know how it feels. So the gender reveal is going to be in Paris, California, which is by Riverside. It's about an hour away from uh, LA. So just so you guys know, um, so yeah, guys, and we are gonna pick the winner. Let me see, today, you guys, today's Wednesday. You guys are gonna see this video tomorrow, which is today is Thursday now for you guys. Um, we're gonna give you guys Sunday. We'll give it to Sunday. So that part gives you guys a whole week to plan that, um, plan that out if you're a winner. So we're gonna announce the winner on Sunday, the 11th. February 11th on Sunday. So we're gonna announce one person from Instagram, one person from TikTok, and one person from YouTube. So if you go follow us on there and comment and blow our, spam our things, um, you get a, a bigger chance to win, guys. Um, other than that, guys, uh, let's go on to the next question. How many kids we got? So a lot of you guys know, and some of you guys don't know, we have three kids and obviously one on the way. We got two boys and one little girl and one on the way. Yeah. Do we have any name ideas? Mm -hmm. Any name ideas? I don't yet. Um, I let more staff yeah. deal with that. I honestly, I don't think you are not, huh? Uh, no, Abel, I mean, Abel, I, I <laughs> No, I mean, you're dead, why? dude. Well, yeah, but I was like, oh, it's, my first, <laughs> it's like for any guy, like your first kid and if it's a boy, you're gonna wanna name him your name, you know what I mean? Other than that, I have always uh, let Steph pick names. Like, honestly, I love And then that. I just agree with it. Like, yeah. Okay, you know what? Um, she'll just give me a list of names and tell me which one's your best one, your second best, third, and then I'll tell her which ones I like or not. Do you have any idea names for boys and girls? Like, yeah, I do. I actually do, because I actually, I don't know, I like to put like a lot of thought into it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I never noticed he really does give me all authority over the kids' names, which I'm so, I'm so grateful, thank you. But um, but yeah. So for boy names, I feel like I really like um, Emmanuel. Um, I like my I like I don't know if you noticed, but all our kids' names are really short. Um, Emmanuel would be our first long name um, because I like the nickname Manny. It's you know short. It's cute. As for middle name, I don't have a middle name just yet. Because all our kids have middle names and, and both of our last names. And both of our last names. Like if they were born in Mexico, you could say. Because a lot of people yeah, in Mexico they have when they get awards like <laughs> It was actually my idea, guys, that um, with our first kid, you know, um, I told Steph like, hey, I want 
I want uh, our kids You're to lying. have. No. Yes. Yes. I don't How do you think it. all our kids have um, our, your last name too? I told you. I was saying. I'm like, hey, I want, I want um, all our kids, or I want our kids to have your last name too. It's because I want them to know and remember both sides of the family, not just one side. So yeah. Maybe, but that's something hey, that I did not that. notice, guys. No, maybe I said that you just shouldn't take no. credit. <laughs> Babe, I, I remember like if it was yesterday, I told you. Uh, no. I, just I remember you looked at me like, wow, really? You're lying. Yeah. Babe, this was like 15 years ago. Yeah, 14 I don't years have a ago. good memory. Yeah, but, so yeah, guys, um, Emmanuel, and then what else? Yeah, so Emmanuel, I don't have a middle name. Um, and then for a girl, I really like um, Madeline. Madeline. And her, yeah, Madeline and her abbreviated name would be Maddie. I love that name, so. Maddie. Yeah, and then I've always said if I ever have another girl, because for Demi, I did want to put her middle name Love, um, but Demi, but Demi Love is, it means half love or whatever, yeah. so I was like, oh, I don't know. So like, Demi's name is Demi Adeline. Adeline, yeah. Yeah, yeah so definitely yeah. this one would be Madeline Love. Roy's is uh, Roy Levy. And then our older son, um, his is like my pop, Pablo Abel. I really like, like, um, those are just like my top names where I'm like, okay, like I could literally like a no brainer, that would be their names. But I do have other ones. Like, um, I, I heard this really pretty one here. It's Arlette. Arlette? Arlette, A-R-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I think that's so pretty. Arlette. Something you don't hear. Um, yeah. What's another one? I have like a couple of them in there. I'm like, oh, I really like that. Okay, but yeah, guys. Comment down below if uh, we do need some help with names. Or if you guys have any good ideas. Or good ideas, you know. Um, we will be looking through these comments. Uh, but we appreciate it if you guys help us with names, guys. Yeah. What do we want? That's the billion dollar question. I know a lot of people ask. What do we want? Um, you want to go first or I go first? Yeah, you go first. You can rock, paper, scissors. No, you. <laughs> I, give, I give you the, the honor. <laughs> I was gonna lose in purpose. Like, oh, cause you. Okay, fine. I'll go first. Just like that. So you can go first. Okay. Uh, okay. So for me, what do I want? Hold on. I feel like Steph wants a boy, guys. And I'm not lying. Like, <laughs> like, cause every time people ask, "What do we want?" She kind of stays quiet, and then I, you know, like I, I want. I personally want a girl. Because but you know why? Because hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, no, because Debbie is in his favor. That's <laughs> so why. I want a girl <laughs> because I have the two boys, and then another girl will be like the next, like the pair. So it'll be the two pairs, you know. And then um, and and that is cute. I'm not. I have to admit, I love. So, I love that because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, like I grew up with only sisters. So when I came to Pablo's family, he had eight brothers. <laughs> it was the hardest thing. Like I didn't know how girls boys can be. And they're freaking gross, guys. <laughs> and with girls, it's just different. Like, I don't know, it's just it's just so different. So then I think like when people are like, oh, you know, well, how was it with you? Do you have sisters? And I'm like, oh, honestly, I only have sisters. So I love it. I love having sisters only. But you um, always fight. It's, it's normal. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. But guys. I feel like boys always, they just joke around. Like, you can never take them serious. So it's so hard. So I honestly would love for my daughter to experience what I have with my sisters. Like, I love it. Like, there's not a day that we don't call each other. And if it's like one time a day, it's like, you know, like, we, it's like constantly all day. You know, I'm talking about my mom, my dad, my sisters, his mom and stuff. Um, so I would really love that for my daughter, you know, but then again, I feel like Demi is so he's, she's like a mini Pablo um, I feel like really, she's really? a lot like they just have energy for days and sometimes I'm like I think I can only handle one Pablo one one daughter <laughs> You know, so I think that scares me a little I feel like more of like um like we, when my boys are in there, you know, they're in soccer They're in basketball like they just get up like they just know what to do and Demi's more like I don't feel like it, but like, why can't we just do this today? So I'm just kind of like, Demi, <laughs> like, we got to, you know, and now with four kids, I think that's what scares me because it's like, now it's not just, you know, like, uh, like, oh, okay, you know, April gets himself ready, you know, it's Roy, Demi, and the baby. So I think that's kind of what more, what scares me a little more. Yeah. But, so I, I feel like Steph, practically Steph is saying she don't want, <laughs> a, she don't want to risk another Demi. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to deal with it. Um, 
But I, yeah, but so you're more to the boy side, realistically? I don't know, I can't say that because that makes me sound ungrateful. No, but, but I mean, so I'm on the girl side, factory's closed. I'm done, and that's it, guys. I'm done, no more kids, that's it. Blessing. But whatever God wants to give us. If it's yeah. a boy, you know, nice, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like Steph, <laughs> every time people ask that question, Steph is more on the boy side. Because um, she's scared of having a girl because of our daughter. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it don't get me wrong, it's the cutest thing ever. Like I've never, I never knew a four-year-old could know what she wants out of life, yeah. and I love that. But it also kind of scares me because she's four, and I don't want to imagine at oh, ten or a teenager or adulthood like that really scares me. So here's one thing, guys. I um, at first, I want, I, I wanted a girl. I was fully to like, I want a girl, right? And then somebody commented, I don't know where, I think it was Instagram, somebody commented, like, hey, are you sure you want a girl? Because now Demi is not going to be your only princess anymore. And I'm like, damn, that's right. Like, Demi's so attached to me right now. <laughs> yeah. So that literally got me thinking and it hurt me. Like, it, like damn, like, she's right. And um, so then I was going more to the boy side, like, damn. But then uh, I started thinking like that. I don't want my daughter just to be the only girl. You know, like I want her to have a sister. Was, you know, yeah. I have a sister. I got eight brothers and one sister, and she's the last baby. Yeah. So my sister's already like 24, I think, 23. She's like 23. Um, but yeah, guys. So I seen my sister growing up, and you know, I, I don't want Demi to uh, be the only girl. Which it is gonna be sad if I get another girl because now she's not gonna be the princess. But, but it's it okay, you know. <laughs> but that's the thing. Right now, I'm on the girl side. Yeah, I'm like, whatever, that's why I can't choose. I'm like, whatever, I'm happy with both. Yeah. <laughs> Just having a girl scares me a little more. Do you feel like this pregnancy is different? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Um, yeah. I've never seen Steph like this in three pregnancies that she's had. Um, but I mean, she's doing better now. Thank God. But she was bad. Like she, she'll throw up constantly, like three to four times a day. And I'm not. We're not exaggerating. And um, she even threw up the day that she told me she was pregnant. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys. So yeah, it was super bad. Yeah. So honestly, like I hope no one has to experience this because I honestly, I told Paula this was how. Like if this is the first time I would have ever gotten pregnant. I would be terrified to ever become pregnant again. Like, yeah, it's crazy, guys. But I mean, at least you're doing better. Now. Yeah, at least I'm doing better. But I do get a little nauseous. Like, I'm there right now. Right? Yes, I took Abel to the doctor's today, which I did say on TikTok Live. And I swear to you, I always jinx myself every time. I'm like, oh, I'm doing better, you guys. I literally, like, the doctor literally had to go get me alcohol because I was about to like pass out. I'm not even tell you. But that's I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm, at this point, I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm, t I'm living day by day because I don't even know what to expect. And I feel like I don't want to be like, oh, I'm doing better, guys. And then I don't post for another week because I get sick again. So, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So, I think we're done with our video. Um, if we missed any questions or if you guys want to know more, we can do a part two for you guys. You guys can comment down below what questions you guys want to ask us. And we can do another video for you guys. Um, but yeah guys other than that thank you guys for watching this video if you made it to the end here guys shout out to you guys thank you guys for the love and support um, stay tuned for the next videos and um, and right. we're so excited yeah. I'm like alright guys so thank you guys thank you for being so patient with me because I wish I could put my all, all my effort into putting out content for you guys but honestly I feel like just waking up and having my day situated for the kids and Pablo has been such a mission so I'm so grateful that you guys are so patient so understanding um but we're glad to be back for yeah. you guys we're, we're, we're glad yeah so yeah I'm just so grateful that you guys have joined us in our journey and I hope you guys continue to be patient with me because like I said I'm literally living day by day because I don't know how my days are gonna be but yes oh before I know I know the questions you guys are gonna ask but I know what you guys are thinking if I thought about it right right now make sure you guys comment a thumbs up or say Pablo was right I know you guys 
are wanting to see the baby bump. So oh. if I got it right, comment down below, Team Pop Lizzy, because I know exactly what you guys were, what was in your mind. <laughs> Here's a baby bump, guys. She's still small. Okay, I'm warning you guys, she's still small. <laughs> warning. Um, but you can barely tell now her baby bump, guys. Yeah, so the thing is, I'm only small because obviously I haven't been able to gain weight because I've been vomiting, but here it is, yeah. guys. So, this way like that. Oh. So here's the baby bump, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like right here. All right, guys, so you guys seen the baby bump. It's small still, <laughs> um, but the baby is healthy. We have an yeah. appointment tomorrow, and we'll keep you guys updated, guys. Thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you guys on to our next video. video. Thank you, guys. Good night. Us. 